Hey guys, Prochart Green over here with another project. And this time, I have a self-leveling laser. Now, as you can see, I have the laser on over here. As you can see, on the top of my robots. And it's firing over here at this point over here. Now, if I move my stand, you can see that the laser keeps it keeps on trying to find its level as you can see I can move it all around and it'll keep and let me put it back in place and you'll see that it'll find its level once again there you go and now as you can see I have the laser module set on top of a accelerometer and this accelerometer is what uh, is with the data that I collect from the accelerometer that I sketch the code to position the servos in a way that the laser will stand always up straight as you can see right over here I'm moving the stand all around and the laser keeps its level now let me put it back on real quick and you'll see as you can see it is finding let me just hold it straight because it is pretty sensitive and you can obviously decrease the sensitivity I have it up to 0 0.05 and it finally stopped kind of there you go now let's get into the sketch so this is the sketch for my self-leveling laser stand I start by, by including the wire library because the accelerometers are I squared C modules, so they need the library to, for communication. Then I also include the library specific to my sensor, which is the MMA 8452Q. Uh, the, there are various accelerometer sensors, and they have different libraries for them. So then I also include the servo library for my servo motors. I create the, is, the instance for the accelerometer over here with this command and I give it the name Excel. I, I create both objects for my servo motors. I create the variable for their positions and degrees. And I create these three flow variables variables for the values on the x axis axle on the y axle and on the z axle for this project i am not going to use the z axle only the y and the x axles so then i create the the variable for my laser pin and then i walk into setup inside the setup i initiate communic serial communication and wire communication I print out the message so that I know that my accelerometer has, ex uh, I'm sorry, this is actually in the wrong place, this over here. Uh, this should be down here, let me cut that out real quick. Uh, this should be after the sketch has created, communicate, made communication with the accelerometer, which is in this if block right over here. So then I, I send out the message that my accelerometer has initiated, that my sketch has successfully, success, successfully initiated communication with my accelerometer. And then I attach my both servo objects, which are the servo motors, to the respective pins. I position both motors at 90 degrees. I uh, in, I give the pin mode. I I tell the pin mode of my laser pin, and I turn it off. Then I walk inside the loop. Inside the loop, I print out to the serial plotter the values of the accelerometers on the x axle and the y axle, and I print out both positions of the x axle motor and the Y axle motor. And then I uh, call both functions each respective 
to moving the servo into a position to where the accelerometer is leveled. Uh, and then I turn on the laser and I give a delay of one millisecond because this helps for the accelerometer to stabilize, for the numbers to stabilize. Now, these two functions that move my servos into a level position are right over here. I have one for the X motor and another for the Y motor. They are both the same, so I'm only, only going to explain one, which is the X motor in this case. So, I get inside the function, and the function of this is I start off, is in, I start, it has two if blocks. Each block, each block moves the servo motor either towards uh, from zero to 180 degrees or from 180 degrees to zero depending on what amount of degrees it needs for the, the, the accelerometer to be leveled. And I do that with this condition over here. So if the accelerometer is reading that it is above 0 0.02 on the axle, uh, then I will decrease the position of the servo by one degree. I will confirm to check that it does not go below zero. And then I write it on the servo. Now I can do this with a, a, a do or a for loop to wait until the accelerometer was leveled, but I want both motors to work on at the same time. So each, each, each function will happen once at a time. Or in other words, the, both servos will move simultaneously one degree at a time towards the position to where the accelerometer is leveled. So, in other case, if the accelerometer is reading that the axis is below 0 0.02, it will increment the position of the servo motor and write it on the servo and of course not forgetting to make sure that the value does not go over 180 degrees. Now these lines over here are so that the serial plotter can continue printing the values on the plotter. And as I say, both functions are the same, either for the Y motor or to move the X motor. And this is how I make the sketch position the laser stand to, to keep the level, to keep the laser leveled at all times. Now, as you can see, no matter how I move the stand, as long as the servos are able to achieve the position, the degree needed for the leveling of the accelerometer, the sketch will always keep the accelerometer at level. And this is a very simple way on demonstrating how how to use accelerometer on your projects. I'll show you it move into position. There you go. And so, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.